Is this fungus? How did this happen to my toenail? Can it be treated? Is it permanent? Can it be prevented? The answers to these questions and more coming up. Greetings all, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Paola of paolaponsanails.com and I help aspiring nail solopreneurs master gel nails using Japanese gel only. So if you are one of many nail gals who loves to get their toenails done relatively often, but in addition, leave your polish on your toenails for more than three weeks, because hello, polish on toenails lasts like five times longer as we know, then you may very well be familiar with this unsightly striation on the toenails. So is this fungus? Let me put your mind at ease. If all you see is this on your toenails, as unsightly as this is, it is not fungus. The striation on the toenails are basically flaking of the nail layers. How did this happen? This type of damage to the nail is very common, yet the damage to the nail is actually very superficial and nothing to be too worried about. This superficial damage to the toenail is usually the result of excessively buffing the nail and applying a very acidic product to it. This is my toenail and I buffed it and I used a cheap poly gel product on it to test and this happened. Ugh. I know. But most often than not, having dealt with many a set of feet in the salon, it is due to clients leaving the same nail polish on toenails for well over three weeks. For me, it was especially noticeable on those clients that kept their polish on for longer than five weeks. That's right. If the nail polish is not refreshed, as in removed and reapplied every three weeks, there's a good possibility of this happening on your toenails or your clients. My clients were clearly able to see and test this theory for themselves. And because we know, and I especially, I knew that I couldn't expect my clients to come in every three weeks for a petty, I simply asked them to remove their nail polish at home after three weeks to avoid this discoloration and this flake. This can also happen on your fingernails, but it is a little less commonly caused by polish and more than likely caused by pulling off products from the nails, like gels and acrylics. So can this be treated and how soon can the nail recover? Actually, the best way to get rid of this is to use a ceramic bit in a vertical direction. Begin removing these striations with very minimal pressure. You can scrape it off too, but sealing the nail with a ceramic bid is a must and guarantees no re-emerging of the flaking in the client's next visit. If you just buff off with a square buffer or sponge buffer, you will be etching the nail and it will return. Now, if you want to just DIY repair at home, then you will have to seal the nail still and you can do this with a two-way shining buffer. I don't recommend you buy an e-file and a ceramic bit if you've never used an e-file. So go with the two-way shining buffer solution. You may find either Walgreens or CVS to have actually a multi-way buffer. So it's usually number and just follow the numbers to get to the shining portion. You can also avoid this from happening by using gel color on toenails. Leaving gel color on toenails past three weeks did not cause that striation damage on my clients, especially when the gel color was removed with an e-file. Is this damage permanent? No, the damage you remove should not return in any significant manner if you sealed the nail with either a ceramic bit or two-way shining buffer. How to prevent this damage from recurring? Continue to be gentle to your toenails by not buffing or allowing your tech to buff your nails with gritty buffers or sanding bands. 
remove or refresh the nail polish every three weeks. If you're interested in joining our Japanese gel nail group for solopreneurs, find the link below in the description. Don't forget to hit the bell below to be notified when next week's video is uploaded. Thanks and see you next week.